Hey everybody, good evening and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Iris. You can also call me the writing accountant. And on this platform, I share opportunities relating to studying abroad, teaching, and freelance writing opportunities. If you're here for the first time, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel and share. To anyone that this video might resonate with and thank you for coming and if you've been here thank you so much continue sharing liking and uh, commenting and if there is any other related video that would like me to do please comment down below and i'd be glad to honor you with a video so today's video is um a very critical one because i'm going to cover a basic writing skill that everyone should know regardless of uh, your your field of work regardless of where you are as long as you're an adult in the corporate world or uh, in the world of uh, business so this video is uh, is stemming from uh, two or more experiences that I've had with with clients, I've had with friends, uh, mostly with clients who have come to me for um, help with uh, online errands such as applying to jobs, writing documents for them such as proposals, emails, CVs, company profiles and all that. So, um, over the course of the few weeks that have passed, I have noticed that uh, there are people in my network who don't know how to send emails, or rather, let me not use the word don't know, are having a challenge, yeah, that is the right word, sending emails, and uh, today I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to do this uh, in real time. So when you open your Gmail, because I know most of you guys are using Gmail, some are using Yahoo, some are using Outlook. The first thing you'll see is uh, the the interface with your emails and yeah. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on this little icon written compose. That is if you're sending a new email. So when you click on compose, it's going to bring you something like this. And uh, the first line is from. From is your email. Like mine is jdav.grown at gmail.com. Two, you will write the email of the person that you're sending it to, the recipient. If we expand this, you, you'll see CC. CC means carbon copy. So if you want to copy the email to someone else, to like uh, read it, who may maybe uh, reply or not reply, and then blind carbon copy. Blind carbon copy is uh, an email of someone who is supposed to receive that email, but the other recipients who have been uh, listed under CC under the carbon copy will not see the details of uh, the emails under blind carbon copy and the person who has been uh, included in the BCC section cannot see emails to the email details of other recipients in the carbon copy section the people in the carbon copy section are not able to see the details of the email of the person in the blind carbon copy session like section sorry so what happens is um uh sometimes you might be sending an email for um to more than one person so it will be copied to them so that is why we're writing we are writing their details under cc and then there's another person or some other person who is supposed to see the email but these other people are not supposed to know who that person is. And then the subject is the, it's the, I'd say the title of your email. What is your email about? It can be something like, uh, 
it can be something like uh, application for the position of a content writer or application for the position of an ESL teacher or inquiry for da 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 it can be anything and then there is this place written compose email this place written compose email is now the email body the body of the email where you will write your message now it usually starts with a salutation hello sang or hello iris or dear hiring manager or dear sir or madam depending on uh, the circumstances surrounding that email or where you're sending it to and then uh, you can write your message it can be a direct you can just go direct to the point or uh, i hope this finds you well or i hope you're having a great day uh, and then you continue your email stuff like that and then another important thing that you have to remember is the sign off the sign off if it is a uh, an official email it can be sincerely or or regards and then your name or kind regards or uh, best regards it depends and then you write you sign off with your name i usually love signing off with my official names like both names especially if it's an um official email and then if there's an attachment that you have to uh maybe uh, do or uh, put there's this thing this thing here that looks coiled you tap there and then it will take you to your files and then you can choose any file that you want and once you have uploaded um you're uploading a file it will attach at the bottom of the email and then there's this thing here that looks like an arrow when you're done you click there to send the email so it's telling me add at least one recipient because I'm not like sending uh, a real email. So once you click there, when everything is done, your email will be sent. And then there are the three dots up here. So you can schedule to send the email. Maybe you've written an email and you need to send it in the evening. And uh, you can put it in confidential mode uh, depending on the information that is that's in the email you can discard it like uh, get rid of it you can add your email from contact if you have saved your contacts with uh, their emails and then there's the setting and then there's the help and feedback i won't explain this but when you're uh, inside your email you can click any of this to like check uh what takes you where so once you're done with that, you click the, that thing that looks like a, a triangle. Uh, yeah. And then your email will be sent. I hope this helps because it's a basic skill that people should know. And uh, I know this video is going to help someone. And I know many people know how to write an email and send an email. But this is for that person who might not be in the know-how or is having challenges and would really like to um, get this information and um, just use it. Because we're learning every day. We are unlearning every day. And this the forward step that you're taking is um, is someone's past step you might be at step one there's someone who is at step two and there's someone who is at step zero so i hope this uh video helps you and uh, if you found this helpful please share it with someone that it might resonate with if you have any questions please uh ask me if you need any help i'll put my uh details below the video and you can uh contact me and we can uh talk so thank you so much for coming and may god bless you and uh, continue learning and in all these things remember that in everything that you do do it to the glory of god because you are here to represent god and the things that he has placed in the inside of you you're here to fulfill them see you in the next video bye